Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to do a conditional formatting in Excel and have the conditional formatting be a strike through in text. So, you know, we have some data here and we want some of these rows to, to show a strike through or be struck out based on what's in the sale being complete or not. So let's say we want to go through and strike out all of the, the rows here that have a yes in column B. How would we go about doing that? We'll go ahead and show you how you could approach this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, you go to conditional formatting. If you have a lot of rules in an Excel spreadsheet and it's going to cause issues, you can go ahead and click clear rules and you can clear them out from the entire sheet or select a cell. We don't have any, so we're not going to worry about it once we have cleared our rules. We're going to go ahead and just select the row, the cells that we want to format. And then we're going to go to conditional formatting click on new rule and then this conditional formatting window is going to pop up and we're going to go ahead and just click the use a formula to determine which cells to format so because of this we we need to come up with a formula that's going to indicate which cells need to be formatted so we're going to do equals dollar sign b3 so this row row three is going to be dictated by what's in column b and row three and so we have the dollar sign in there because that's our cellular reference. That's what's going to lock the common place if we want to, you know, format other other rows with the same formula. So we have that in place. And then we're going to do equals yes, and then close with quotation marks, and then we'll hit uh, format. And then it's going to ask us how we want to format. So there's a lot of different things we can do because we want to do strike through. We're just going to click strike through. It's going to go from like the fill box to check box. You know, you could do fill you could do different borders and whatnot but for now we're just going to do this strike through we'll hit ok and we'll hit ok again and you can see those cells are now their strikeout in those cells so we'll click and drag here and you can see anywhere that has a yes and the cells complete it's we're just doing a strike out there so formula worked perfectly as we had planned so this is great makes things very easy to see which cells have not been complete yet which ones we need to focus on well, let's say you know it's maybe a little bit hard to to see what's going on in those cells it's not doesn't stand out a whole lot so if you need to select the conditional formatting we'll do conditional formatting again manage rules we just need to make sure that we have the cells selected that we want what we can do is edit rule and then we're back to this window pops back up and we can hit format and then let's say you know we want to do a fill maybe a green fill here and then we can do okay we'll hit okay again and then we'll hit apply and then you can see now you know it's got it's got the green there so we know it's yes the sales complete and we can go ahead and just you know re copy and paste and spread it and so again it looks like it's working perfectly based on the yes in the far left column so again, this is very simple to do and is, can be very useful. And there's just so many different uses for this. And so, you know, go ahead and go in there and play around and see what works for you. And let me know if this works. And if you have any questions, you know, let us know in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe to the Excel Guide. Thanks and have a great day.